Aloha! Welcome to the Savvy Chick Show. I'm your host, Chantal Seville. I'm very excited to be back in the studio as I've just been in Australia, where I've lived for quite some time, I guess nearly 15 years, spending some time catching with friends, doing some business. Uh, it was pretty, pretty awesome. It's a bit cooler there at the moment. Uh, got to catch up with a friend of mine, Krista Billich. They own one of the top galleries in Australia, and her husband, Charles Billich, the artist, has paintings everywhere from the White House to the Vatican, so they're always inspiring to catch up with. And we had last week, we had on the show, Latoya Asha, the Horseshoes and High Heels founder, so check out her blog, that was a lot of fun. When we had our host, Lily, from Click Communications, who's actually here today, uh, doing something a little different with us, and got to spend some time at Bondi Beach. Those of you who haven't been to Bondi Beach, it's amazing, even in the winter, and Bronte Beach, all my favorite beaches, and just had a great time. So uh, thank you to everyone along the journey and uh, ho hospitality in Australia. I look forward to getting back there again soon. And also I had Joe Burston, founder of Rare Birds, Inspiring Rare Birds on the show. And I am now officially the Hawaii ambassador for Inspiring Rare Birds. So very excited about that too. Lots happening. Savvy Chicks launching the new brand logo today. Um, it's all pretty exciting. You probably see it here, the Savvy Chick show. Um, very excited about that, and what I'm most excited about is another edition of Mission Savvy Chicks. Now, Mission Savvy Chicks is all about inspiring and empowering girls to live their dreams, and that's by helping them maximize their unique talents, sharing them with the world, and hoping that perhaps you, one of the viewers, or someone you know might have uh, something that they can do to help them. And that's why I've also brought in Lily from Click Communications. Click Communications is based here in Hawaii. They started in Sydney, Australia, and they also have an office in Los Angeles, and they are the communication specialists. So we're going to have Lily here sharing some insight and advice with these girls. They're two high school students from Hawaii um, who are doing some awesome things, very inspired by the beautiful earrings I've worn from one of the guests. And uh, let's not leave it any longer, and I'll introduce them now. So, firstly, I'll just actually oh. quickly introduce my, uh, <laughs> my co-host. You might recognize this face from when I was away. This is Lily. She's from Click Communications. And she'll be, as I said, assisting me this morning. Thank now we have ladies. Nenea. <laughs> the gorgeous Nenea is the jewelry designer who I'm very excited to uh, be wearing jewelry by. And Kalia. Kalia is a designer in a different fashion. She loves art and design. And she's now creating some shirts and some bags. And we're hoping that we can help them bring these dreams to reality. And you'll see them more on the internet and in shops and um, on people most importantly so if you do like what you see throughout the episode be sure to either follow us up for the moment on the Savvy Chicks website or we'll also um, put some links there for where the girls are so enough about me even though I can make the show all about me <laughs> let's introduce them um, and talk a bit more about the inspiration behind what the girls have created so maybe we'll start on that side with you so um, <laughs> What, what do you do? Where did you start this whole journey? Um, well, four years ago, my little, my baby sister was born, and her name is Azuri, which means blue. And um, it, like, I started drawing a lot of like mermaids, and like they were inspired by her. So my dad decided it would be fun to put them on shirts. So we put them on shirts, and we called it Blue Mermaid. And um, they were in stores for a little bit, but we have to restock them, and it's just kept going since then. So how old were you when you started that then? Um, 11. 11. So you started your own brand at 11. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah. And I understand you have some of your first creations there. Yeah. Do you want to show us where it all I began? Had art, my drawings from when I was like 11 years old. So you've always liked drawing? Yeah, I've liked drawing since I was little. Oh my goodness. Sorry. Lots of so like... Yeah, just keep it down there. my designs, they're like just the ones from before and they're on the shirts and the bags now. But... Like, <laughs> just like lots of little stuff, yeah. Gorgeous. I love that. Thank you. Oh, that one. I like that one. Can you show that one? <laughs> <laughs> These are from when I was really little. We, um, <laughs> here in Hawaii, we do love mermaids and, and surf, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Is your sister like your little sister that this is inspired by? Does she like swimming she or surfing loves, or mermaids? She like, loves the ocean. She's always there. She's like, she loves to... My brothers both are like really good surfers and she's trying to keep up with them all the time. So she's like surfing, like go surfing with my dad a lot and um, just like loves going to the beach. Your, one of your brothers, as far as I know, is actually a really good surfer. Though, isn't yeah. he? So she's got a lot to keep up yeah. with. Yeah. <laughs> is he, he'd be nearly pro or how, how old he's, is he? He's 12. And yeah. he's, he's, he's on his way, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so she's got a lot to keep up with. Do you surf? I surf, but just for fun. I like to longboard. And, and draw instead. Yeah. <laughs> 
And Nenea, where did you start your journey? Um, it was actually a few years ago. I think I was like 12 or 13, so it was really not that long ago. <laughs> but um, my mom's friend, she does jewelry, and I'd always like been interested in that kind of thing, and I took art classes too. And then one day my art teacher like got me into like the wire stuff and I thought that was cool. And then while I like slowly got into that, I started like playing around with wire and stuff. And then my mom's friend offered me like a job to help her, to help her like get her jewelry together and just practice those kind of skills. And then I slowly kind of got away from that and I started kind of doing my own thing. And my mom started like, buying me all sorts of like wire and pliers and stuff and then when I went to the beach I'd always find shells oh, and so, so I like I wonder like, where the shells came from though. yeah so you actually found a lot of the shells on the beach that yeah. you use in your earrings yes we have to show them now I can't have them yes. sitting here yes. not sure <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're pretty amazing gorgeous so, yeah. yeah you can hold them up for a little while there and show everyone and which is your favorite um, my favorites right now are actually probably these. Yes, really nice. They're these right here because I'm wearing similar ones to that. <laughs> I don't know. I just I really like the way they look. Generally, like the color color wise. And so far, how have you been selling them? Um. Well, often when my mom's friends come over, I usually have them out. <laughs> like me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got a few. It's like I and like these. Sometimes Let's online. Okay. And just, yeah, but I've been trying to figure out a way to, like, do that easy, easily. Hence why you're on the Savvy Chick Show on Mission Savvy <laughs> Chick, so we can work out how we can get them, you know, everywhere and on more pairs of ears around the world, so not just here in Hawaii, but everywhere. Yeah. What, what would be your biggest dream if you could do something with, with the earrings? If I could do something with the earrings, it would probably be to sell them, but not have to always be there and make sure that people bought them. I just, for me, it's not really the selling part of it it's more just the making part of it and seeing people like them and wearing them yeah because you love making them don't you yeah <laughs> you can that's pretty much make them all day yeah <laughs> but you need people to buy them otherwise you just have a huge you'll just have a huge stock, yeah. of, <laughs> stock of earrings beautiful ones at yeah. that and for yourself Kalia? um i think it'd be really cool to open a store with like all my designs in it that's like my biggest dream for the, the shirts and the bags and everything can you show us the shirts and the bags yeah brought a couple so, we have like women's shirts. Oh, yeah, we have like women's shirts, like with the designs on them. <laughs> and oh, that's, um, that's the one you showed. That's yeah, that's the that's one. The one. Big sketchbook. Yeah, so <laughs> it's like colored and it's on the shirts. And I have like some. We have like men's shirts and like little kids' shirts too. Bring them all up. Oh, it's really They're all stuck. I, I love show and tell. <laughs> <laughs> um, like, uh, like the kids' shirts have like the designs on them too. There's like t-shirts, and then. Ooh. Which is your favorite? I really like the women's. I know. I really like. You guys have a great logo there too. Yeah. That you designed off. that, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, that was Blue my shirt. Mermaid. That was my first drawing I made for the. That's, that's really cool. Awesome. And then I have this design, which actually like wasn't supposed to be made for the Blue Mermaid shirts. Every year on my dad's birthday, I like draw him a T-shirt, and so I drew him a T-shirt with this design on it, and he thought it would be good to put on shirts. So I like this design the best. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Yeah. And so what does it mean or what are, what's what's behind it? When you design it, did you think of anything or did you just, how do you design? You just draw or? Um, well, my whole family really likes to surf. So my dad really likes surfing and like waves and everything. And I've just been like, for like a while, I liked like the mandala like designs around it, so. And then the colors, you choose, the choose colors, yourself, just, you just, whatever feels right? Or do you sometimes do a color and then change it and then go back to another one? Or what, what's behind the art? I'm always curious. Um, <laughs> I just, I don't know, I guess I just like to pick the color. It's kind of like random. I just think it's like whichever would look good with the, nice. the other colors. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. Awesome. And your bags? Do you have some bags there? Yeah, I do have some bags. This is so it fun. Was, I love yeah. show and tell. <laughs> it's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I can shut my 
my little. That's like. How cool! I, how cool is my show and tell? Anyone want to look at my show and tell? <laughs> <laughs> it says Fitting more the fun. Show. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Fit to see is perfect for the brand. More fun, <laughs> love, laughter, vacation, sleep, hugs, books, music, yeah, coffee, anyway. and fun. That's pretty good. That's yeah. really cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's my show and tell. <laughs> um, what have you got there? So you've got oh, I have like some bags with like the designs from. Oh, cool! <laughs> I like how. I love that. <laughs> We are definitely yeah. going to have to get a, a proper online shop for you guys. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. I don't know, after this show, we might sort of sell out, and Anaya's not going to be able to go to school anymore. She'll be <laughs> too busy making jewelry. I would actually love that. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the whole thing, and that's what Savvy Chicks is all about. It's so really, I mean, of course, it's great to do well in school, but for those who aren't as academic, but still, you know, trying can get good marks, to be able to pursue what you love. Because why, you know, try to be a lawyer when you're actually really creative at designing jewelry and you could do that for the rest of your life and there are artists who design clothing and do that for their lives so why yeah. not you and you and you and me and use your talents and, and enjoy them so so yeah so let's um let's start talking a little bit about you know how we can get you doing what you love so you're oh actually you know what we're gonna take a break first because uh <laughs> otherwise we'll get on a tangent like i do and we'll never <laughs> have <a break> so. <laughs> We'll look forward to seeing you soon. If you want to look for us, where you can SavvyChicks.tv. We'll be able to find some more information about the girls after the show. And until the next moment, we'll see you soon. Aloha. My name is Danelia, D-A-N-E-L-I-A. -E and I'm the other half of the duo, John Newman. Welcome. We are co-hosts of a show called Keys to Success, which is live on the Think Tech Live Network series, weekly on Thursdays at 11 a.m. We're looking forward to seeing you then. Aloha! Hey, how you doing? Uh, welcome to Abachi Talk. My name's Andrew Lanning. I'm your co-host. And we have a nice program here every Friday at 1 o'clock uh, on Think Tech Studios where we talk about technology and we have a little bit of fun with it. So join us if you can. Thanks. Aloha. Hello, I'm Crystal from Quok Talk. I've got a new show here. You've got to tune in. Check out my topics on sensitive, provocative female issues. So, Tuesday mornings, 10 o'clock. Don't miss it. It's going to be fun and dangerous. Aloha, everyone. I'm Maria Mera, and I'm here to invite you to my bilingual show, Viva Hawaii on ThinTech Hawaii, every other Monday at 3 p.m. We are here to talk about news, issues, and events local and around the world. Join me. Aloha. Welcome back to the Savvy Chick Show on Think Tech Hawaii. Today we are doing Mission Savvy Chicks with some awesome high school students from right here in Hawaii and Lily from Click Communications. So this has been a bit interesting. We've actually had Lily in the studio while I've been in Australia. So can you actually just tell us what you do and what Click Communications does and then before we get into helping the girls out? Yeah, I am a uh, communications coordinator at Click Communications. Um, I, we have a, a range of clients and we just help them with um, branding, uh, social media help, uh, so strategic social media planning, um, and just kind of guidance on how to get through this digital world that is so so prevalent now. So, <laughs> what um, what kind of clients do you have, or what kind of clients do you like, or Mostly, do you have any that you can tell us that are very cool, we'll be yeah, very inspired um, by? You can name drop them if you like. Travel tourism <laughs> clients a lot in Hawaii. You know, it's a it's a big. Uh, uh, industry here um, but we also have some really fun um, artistic clients too like black sand publishing heather brown art oh. which is kind of similar to your de um, designs and have that beach beach artistic vibe and yeah we can find some mentors for you yeah, <laughs> that would be, <laughs> be ideal and um so what's your favorite thing to do with your job i love just trying to brainstorm really innovative ideas um, for clients, I really just get a kick out of, you know, how can we get attention, with, rather it be through um, social media or, you know, event planning or, uh, you know, pop-ups somewhere, pop-up shops that we've done. We, we also just did a, a pop-up shop in L.A. Um, with Flux, the magazine Flux, and they got, they went to L.A. and brought 75 Hawaii, local Hawaii brands and, um, yeah, just kind of promoted them there and got, got their name out in the mainland market and was really successful. So we love being a part of that. Cool. Speaking of brainstorming, let's brainstorm with the yeah. girls and let's try and think of some great ideas yeah. of how we can get these these uh, earrings and t-shirts and bags and maybe even something <laughs> yeah. else. Because really, you just want to put your brand 
and your drawings on things. You don't yeah. mind what it is, yeah. if it's an umbrella or if it's a something, <laughs> <laughs> maybe not an umbrella, but you just, it's really about the drawings with yeah. you, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, a really good resource that is free and popular, Instagram, of course. Yeah. Um, so the thing with Instagram, you don't get as many as much attraction when you just post, hey, we're having a sale here, we're doing this, infographics this. Instagram is, a, that platform is a lot meant to inspire. Um, inspire to follow, inspire to go online and make the purchase, inspire to go to the art fair that you're selling. So with that, it's not so much in your face, ads, ads, ads. It's like, what can you do for your target audience, you know, these young women to throw on the t-shirts, the throw on the earrings, and have, that, have them think that that's, what, that's the vibe I want. Um, so I, I think Instagram would be great and just trying to, you know, get the right, um, we, we specialize at Click um, with influencer marketing. So if there's any really good friends that you have that are, you know, they kind of evoke the vibe that I want my company to have or, you know, the, the ear, I think this girl would be really good wearing the earrings and her whole Instagram is the way I want my company to be seen in my customer's eyes. You know, maybe you could reach out to them, hey, would you mind wearing these earrings and going to the beach and, you know, taking some beautiful pictures that might inspire some customers? That would be, you know, some uh, good marketing technique to kind of get a broader, or your company viewed by a lot of audiences. Yeah. yeah. Do you have, you have an Instagram name right now or not yeah, quite we, yet? We made an Instagram yeah, we like have, a month ago, but we haven't done that much. So is, your, is your Instagram today, uh, together, sorry? Yeah. At the yeah. Oh, that's why oh. it's the Blue Mermaid and the Nea. Yeah. Because Nea. Ah, yeah. Nea is, I mean, when we met, I just thought that's a perfect name for a brand. It's gorgeous <laughs> and it's a Hawaiian name and you've got a sort of Hawaiian beach vibe. So to yeah. me, I mean, you're your greatest ambassador, your, yourself being the name. I mean, that's just a, a personal yeah. sort of thing, but you've really got that feel. And then, so you'd like to ideally just continue doing the Instagram together and be seen as perhaps friends on the journey of creating, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Any ideas on that one? <laughs> and uh, well, our guest last one, Asha, or um, Latoya, Latoya Asha. Asha. She, her, her best advice was, you know, find your tribe and you guys look like you have a great friendship and a great partnership, <laughs> yeah. you know, find more girls that would be interested in getting involved with the great thing you got going yeah. on and just, you know, promote it. Surround yeah. yourself by great girls and that's, that's a great advice. <laughs> Seriously, yeah. that's what I try to live my life too. I have some, you know some great girlfriends that we've tried to start our own little business and we've had a great time doing it. And, and the greatest thing is your age. I mean, mm -hmm. you don't have anything to lose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, 14, 15 sort of high school, yeah. high school years, if you start doing this now, even if you're not selling tons, which you just might, depending on <laughs> you know, where your journey takes you. And so for example, your earrings, you have them priced roughly what to, how much are um, at the moment? Well, Right around now, I think. Right around now, so this <laughs> might not be after the show. Yeah. Just letting you know. Right around now. These will be the savvy chicks prices, which you'll be able to get for a few months, even if they blow out the water and expensive. Just mentioned you saw it on the show. Other than that, uh, um, so. I think the least right now is fifteen, and I think the most is around thirty. So I mean, for amazing earrings like yeah. what we're wearing, these are that's and what you saw on the board. That's yeah. that's a pretty good price. And we have talked to some retailers in Kylo who will likely be interested in stalking them. So you'll keep an eye on the Savvy Chicks website for that as well. And then for yourself, what sort of prices have you had in mind? Or do you need guidance or? Um, well, we've sold them at the craft fairs a couple of times for like, I think the kids t-shirts were around like 20 or something. And then the bags were like 30 or so. Yeah. And do you like selling the nails? It's not really her thing, which is great because you're honest in knowing that. So. Yeah. I don't really like the craft fairs. You just like sit there and it's really <laughs> yeah. hot. And, like, <laughs> it's good that you're doing them though. And I yeah. mean, that's the most important thing. And, and for all Savvy Chicks, it's about working out what you're passionate about, but also then having that resilience to continue doing it even though not everything is going to be yeah. fun and amazing. I mean, I'm not going to lie <laughs> yeah. to you. <laughs> and it's, it can be really challenging on the journey, but knowing what you want to do will always keep you on track to, to doing that. Um, so, yeah. yeah, though the craft fairs might be boring, your ultimate intention then is yeah. not to have to sell. But in the meantime, if it means you getting out there and even perhaps then doing them together and then making that cool, people might start stopping by your yeah. 
your craft yeah. fair, if you got the two girls, you get a few a few more of your friends working for you. Yeah. <laughs> you can give a commission basis. You can start a real like little empire here. Yeah. And just getting that um, experience, you know, to know that maybe you don't like that, but in the future, if your businesses were to be amazing and blow yeah. up, when? you know, just to when, <laughs> <laughs> when, <laughs> um, th then you know, okay, well, I'm going to hire, this is what I'm looking for because I need somebody that does enjoy selling yeah. and, you know, might not be as creative as me, but has that expertise that I don't, but you still have that knowledge of how to go about it. Yeah. That's, um, that's so important because I did a marketing degree and I like certain aspects, but we still had to do accounting and statistics and computing and all these different subjects, which is like, what's the point of doing that? They're not, you know, I just want to be creative, but actually knowing what someone's doing when you hand over that task to them is really empowering to yeah. know that, you know, what they're doing and how much profit you're getting and that sort of thing instead of just giving the earrings and not realizing, for example, how much you're making or, or who's taking what. So it is great to yeah. really experience the whole the whole journey of that. Yeah. What kind of, do you have some questions for us or for myself or Lily with the PR and what to do next? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free to ask anything you want. I mean, they pay a lot of money to get a consultant like this. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure there's a lot of people um, watching who would have the same questions with their businesses. Um, what do you think is like a really, you mentioned like we should try to get people to like, um, be ambassadors for like our stuff mm -hmm. kind of yeah so like how like like do you think it would be better for friends that we know or like just people I think Instagram? it's seeing the right fit I think definitely yeah. meeting them in person you don't want yeah somebody that you don't know <laughs> personally to be the ambassador for your brand because that's your baby that's what you want you know y you want to have that yes no I want you know yeah. control a little bit you know since you're the one who's putting in the work but just Somebody that, you know, does exemplify, you know, you, it's a touching story, you know, you have the, the picture you drew for your dad on the shirt, you know, you don't want anybody wearing that. Yeah. You want somebody that is, has those same values as your company. And I think maybe just determining what those values are and just finding somebody that aligns well. And that represents you well. Like and for yeah. a perfect example, Savvy Chicks is my baby. So when I was in Australia, to have someone else sitting in my... <laughs> my yeah. chair like you know but someone like Lily who has the same sort of bright nature and the same values and and really wants to inspire and wants to get involved in the community and things and has kind of the same you know, vibe as I do it makes sense to have that sort of yeah. person because yeah. essentially from my point of view a brand is usually an extension of who you are in mm -hmm. some way so you know your friends that would be wearing your earrings or your friends that would be wearing your tops I mean of course it might be a, a boy but it's the same sort of person that has you know whatever those values are to you whether it be cool or surfy or sporty or yeah. whatever that means to you or if yours is you know beachy or sophisticated or which but whichever word it is it doesn't have to be one it doesn't have to be both yours is very classy you want to make sure you know not anybody's going to be running around doing some crazy stuff and saying i'm a brand yeah. ambassador for him. <laughs> you know, you don't have that. yeah yeah um, do you have any questions or a question um or what it would take to help you get to your ideal so basically, it would be like on the website, it would just kind of like let people know like where our things will be and when. That's basically what it's going to be. Totally. You can use website, social media for that as well. Um, and yeah, direct people to where you're going to house that information so they can make the, you know, the, the goal of having a website or social media. Social media is to inspire websites more for yeah. purchases or saying, hey, come here and buy my earrings <laughs> yeah. in the nicest way <laughs> but um, yeah having that information just readily available you don't want people to say oh I love these earrings where can I get them I'll click through four or five things because by the third click they're gonna be like mm, maybe I, I can find an easier place to find is earrings, it easy you know? I mean I haven't done a lot of e-commerce because Savvy Chicks hasn't sold anything quite as yet in that sort of mm -hmm. manner is it quite easy like for the girls to set up an e com I know you said you do have a website. Is it all set up so someone could go right now and buy something? Um, I, th I don't know how set up it is. I'm pretty sure it's all set up. What's I the website? Tell them. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All, we'll, we'll have, have all the links under Mission Savvy Chicks on the Savvy um, Chicks website. We only have a couple minutes, but do you know much about, I mean, I don't, as I said personally, but do you know much about how if tonight Nene wanted to go home and set one up, is that, do you know anything about it? Is it quite yeah, challenging? Uh, or? Etsy is 
really easy to set up. Yeah. Oh, I think I actually have an account for it. <laughs> <laughs> but I think, like, I haven't really, like, gone to setting it up completely yeah. and getting everything together yet. I know I, know I have it. Mm -hmm. I just haven't gotten there yet. Yeah. <laughs> but would it help you if you had some help? I mean, I guess that's what the whole idea of Mission Savvy Chicks is. Would that help you to yeah, it would have definitely yeah. someone like yeah. ourselves help you set it up or we can yeah. direct the right people? Exactly. Totally. I, a lot of the things I've learned, honestly, I set some time aside, YouTube. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, that's the, okay, pause. Let me do that really quickly. And just dedicating that time to, you know, you want it to be successful, just take that hour or whatever it's going to take and just make sure, okay, everything's good. It can click through. It, the, you know, purchases are going to be made. Awesome. Then it's all, then you have that and you, you know, it's all set up. It's good to go. You have to check it to, you know, make sure you're act, being active and the customers are getting the attention they need. But just to have it there, um, that's a big deal for consumers. Even if they don't make the purchase then, maybe they oh, have somewhere save to go to. Yeah, and that come the combination of what I do and what, this, what, what I'm all into is like, who can I know that can help me do this quickly? Right. But also, yeah. but also those steps, because I can, man, and I have a kind of similar personality. She's going, YouTube for a long time and work out how to sell them. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just I'm like fast paced too. Yeah, is there not that not that you wouldn't do it? It's more I don't know if you're more of a hands on learner like me. I'd rather someone sit I'm down and go. This is how you do it, and that's the whole idea about savvy chicks is knowing your personality and what you actually need. Whereas perhaps that advice to you might be going perfect. I'm going to YouTube it tonight. I'm done. Yeah. And if yeah. that was the case, then you just hop on what she's doing. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about that collaboration. So yeah. we will talk about this more after the show. And for anyone watching, do keep your eye on the savvy chicks website because this was where we'll show the sort of way that everything evolves and where you can find their links and where you'll be able to buy um, the amazing creations because they're ready to purchase. Uh, we're about to wrap up here, so I just wanted to quickly um, say thank you so much for being on the show. This is very cool. Yeah, um, be you. sure to share and tell all your friends. And is there something special that you took from today or any advice you'd want to give to anyone else or any little last thought? I just think it was amazing that you let us be on this show. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> it's so cool. I mean, I just, I really want to make sure that girls like yourself continue to follow doing what you do. So know that, you know, as Savvy Chicks, we are all Savvy Chicks, but we really believe in you and what you're doing. So if this yeah. also instills something, it's just to keep on that path and um, never, yeah. never give up. And yourself, Lily, a last little quick word? Um, I just keep yourself open to opportunities, you know, if whether it be with people or your business or just always have that open mind to take an opportunity and just learn from it. There you go. Thanks, girls. Thank See you, you later, all you Savvy Chicks, next week, 11 a.m. Honolulu time. Thanks for tuning in to the Savvy Chick Show.